100 Jams, where hit music lives. All about playing your favorite hits right here. Sketch Carry in the mix with Beverly. Right about now, it's time for Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Got DJ Prussia in studio with me today. Prussia, how you doing? I'm awesome, man. What's going on? I thought you were eating something. What you eating? What you doing? Gum. Okay. Gum right, mixed, make, with, mixed with conk. Make it, oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Making sure your breath smells... Conky let's, fresh. Let's, <laughs> that was decent today. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into the news, man, because a lot of hot topics have been happening. Guys, shout out to everyone that is locked in on the road, on the job, at home, and everybody on the Facebook Live. So before I get into the juiciest question for the day, let me at least let you know what's going on with these COVID-19 vaccines. So at this point, they're doing everything to encourage persons to take the COVID-19 vaccine. They're actually becoming very creative. So in the United States, they started a COVID-19 vaccine lottery. Each state has their own rules and regulations. And in Washington, D.C., just yesterday, they had the first vaccine lottery drawing. So at least four persons would have received $250,000 and one person will win $1 million in the month of July. However, in Washington, just recently, they decided to bribe more of their residents to take the COVID-19 vaccine by offering free marijuana joints to any adults that receive a COVID-19 vaccine. And this promotion is actually called Joints for Jabs. <laughs> that, and this will run until July 12th. And they're also giving a free beer, wine, or cocktail to anyone 21 or older who is vaccinated by the 30th of June. And this is also happening in Arizona and other states are following as well as creating their own ways to encourage their residents to, of course, take the COVID-19 vaccine. Prussia, how are you feeling with this, man? That's an excellent tactic. Excellent tactic. I think, uh-huh. us, we could do a shot with a six-pack. What? A six-pack of what? <laughs> yeah, because everybody need a tactic for, for them to take the vaccine. So okay. I think our own could be, you take a shot, you get a six-pack. A six-pack of, oh, six-pack of what? Anything? Anything. Any beer, any alcoholic beverage. Because we're an alcoholic community. Uh-huh. Not alcoholic, but we're sociable okay. drinkers community. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's only right that they give us something for taking the vaccine. That's what happened because everybody have like they what's the word? Everybody have their suspicions and they doubts about taking yeah. the vaccine because of all the you say and I say type news going on. So uh-huh. just to push them to say, all right, you could take this but you could get this. So that's what they could deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think so in a sense, but I'm just trying to figure out, okay, if they're doing this, of course, in the U.S., and I'm pretty sure this is not just happening in the U.S., why they ain't not giving us something yet, too? It could, it could happen. Okay. It I, could I, happen. I, I can wait, you know? man. I it can could wait. happen. They just, they, just, they, just, they just had a budget meeting out of there now, so uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it could happen. They could be in the budget. So, so something, can, something can work. Yeah, something can work. Okay, so just wait for it. Just wait what, for what it. You us. Either that or money. <laughs> At least Rum I, or money. That's how that's BPL. how we can take this vaccine. They, at least they get a power bill something. No, they ain't worrying about no BPL. They no? they they neighbors got current where they can run drop cards and they, they ain't worrying about no BPL. You know? So they can figure out another Yeah, way. they can figure it out. You know? <laughs> oh goodness. Let's go on to what's um happening with TI now. So TI has been towing me the idea of retiring from rap for years. And mm. even during an interview in 2017, he indicated that it was about that time. And I guess it really was about that time because TI just decided that he's retiring after he releases his final project for his album, Kill the King. So in a bold move, T.I. released a music video for his single, What It's To Come, that begins with the audio where Sabrina Peterson, a longtime family friend who's obviously no longer family friend, seeing all the allegations she um, have been stating about T.I. and his wife, but she just recently demanded an apology from T.I. and his wife. So... She yeah. just want an apology? Well, she demanded an apology in seven days, and then she'll drop all, you know, she'll drop the whole case and everything. Wouldn't that sound like it ain't too serious? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Sexual allegations, drugging, trafficking, and you're going to say you're going to drop it if they apologize. Well, she said yeah. they apologize, and of course, you know, they admit to everything that they have done to her and I guess anyone else. But T.I. Yeah. have an album coming out, so you could expect some type of drama uh-huh. around around yeah. that you know but the question is he mm-hmm. said he's retiring uh-huh that means retiring from even features production or just retiring from you making an album well i think he's just retiring um period well maybe it's just the music business because you know he does more than just music what are you on hustle hustle gang or yeah you on hustle gang so how could he retire from his business if that's his income well he's retiring from just rapping then 
I mean, that's how I'm taking it. I don't know. Jay-Z to retire. <laughs> Jay-Z had a hundred plus songs after. So well, they all yeah. say that. They all say this, but this is what he's saying right now. Maybe he's just saying it, you know, due to everything that's happening. So he probably might just be taking a break. But he did start the music video. Of course, we heard demanding the apology. And then he even went on with a quote stating that a toxic person will create drama and then portray themselves as the victim. Fox. And of course, he literally just told the entire story and he responded to her in the song. So I was listening to it a bit early. And honestly, it, it's really good one from T.I. And you know, when he's spitting the real stuff, you really yeah. is feel it more. But that's Fox, what he say. You got mm-hmm. a lot of people who throw like pity parties for themselves yeah. and don't understand where they wrongs is. Yeah. So it always look like the person offended them, which they didn't. Uh-huh. You know, so yeah, you right with that. Exactly. And I agree with him with that. So I guess we'll see, you know, what um time to come, exactly what's going on with that situation. But moving on to the hottest topic today. So the hottest female dancer artist, Miss Shensi, is hinting, well, hitting. Yeah, she's hitting headlines right now in a major way. And she just alleged that she's three months pregnant for Drake. But apparently Drake is denying it. But he did admit to hooking up with her back in January twice in Miami. However, he stated he used the condom and other forms of protection. I don't know what that is. She probably popped a pill. But um, Shansia has already hired a Jamaican lawyer to get the paternity or child support ball rolling. All of this is alleged information. But she also shared the text conversation between them. So, pressure. listen to the text. They're saying this is how this conversation gone between Shansia, who's Jamaican, and of course, Drake, who's Canadian. But Drake said, I want you to have an abortion. Shansia, I can't kill my baby simply to indulge you. Sorry. Drake, indulge me. Forget you. Shansia, what? Drake, you do know what you're doing. You think you're going to get Kim Kardashian or Cardi B type fame out of this. Shansia stated, forget you, you Jamaican wannabe. I already have fame. Don't let me send my millions of Shen Yangs for you. So now Drake's res- representative stated the rep says he has no idea whether the purported text messages is even real or out of context because they haven't seen the actual text. But if it is, in fact, Drake's child, which he does not believe, he would do the right thing by the child. And they also stated that he, that Shansia visited Fives Cartel many times and even sometime back in January in jail. So he might be the father of Shensia's baby. Wow. wow. This is going deep. This wow. is hitting deep. That's all um, I have to say. What do you believe? Uh, let me be politically correct with uh-huh. this. First off, uh huh. You going in raw, bro. Yeah. Right? He said he, he, did, he, said he didn't. Yeah, but the uh, pregnancy will tell a difference. Yeah. Right? Uh huh. Trey got to be from the Caribbean, but. <laughs> He can't be no Canadian. <laughs> no. You know, he got to be, because everything is raw, dog. It. Yeah. Oh, in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. I know that I'm not even going to specifically say uh, a country, but in uh-huh. the Caribbean is raw, dog. Yeah. Um, but she should be, she shouldn't even put that out there. Right? This is what I'm saying. I don't think so. Because I'm the biggest question is okay, is Shensi really pregnant for Drake Vibes Cartel? Is all of this a publicity stunt? Let me know what you think on the Facebook Live. But I honestly, at this point, for me, I'm like, okay, they did say that Drake is going to release an album coming soon. And um, of course, you know, he normally releases it right before summer. Right. Summer is June 20th, which is next weekend. You know, Father's Day. So I'm trying to think right now. I feel as though Drake will be dropping the album and he's just using all of this. The drama. As a, yeah. You know, of course, to bring more sales to his album. Of course, same time, bring more um, fame to Shen C, especially when it comes to that American market. Oh, since she is just trying to get the bike. It, it could be that too, you know. Because they always taught her Ramesh. Ramesh. Was, yeah, uh-huh. Ramesh was a ting. Yeah. So if her Ramesh isn't a ting, and she deal with Drake, mm-hmm. and now she pregnant by Drake, she know what she was doing. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Because it's morning after us, mm-hmm. and even if you're dealing with a situation like that, you're supposed to make sure this dude strap up right. Exactly. You know what I mean? If you don't, I mean, if, you, if you're dealing with Drake, who really going to try to strap up? That's why I saying. said, get Drake, the bike. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. If Drake called me right now, ain't nobody. All right. <laughs> get the bike. <laughs> I'll just say, but oh my gosh, I don't really know. I still don't know whether it's true or not or exactly what's happening. But of course, you know, we'll see what's going on with that. But she did go, I think, what, ice skating? Mm-hmm. Just maybe a week ago or two weeks ago. 
And three months pregnant. And three months pregnant. All right. All right. We'll First see how this unfolds. Yeah. We, we, First time ice, ice skating. Uh-huh. And three months pregnant. Yeah. All right. This is what All I'm right. saying. It, it, it's a bit odd. I got Lanika right here um, saying that, well, they might have been in a on, I guess, on again, off again relationship, but she is saying that it is, bis- it is a bit fishy, which I do agree. And right now, just the, the text messages just seems a bit, it don't seem like, you know, something. Authentic. Yeah, that they no. would really say. Seeing that we've been listening to that music for years. It's very, very off. Get the bike. Yeah. That's all I can say. I can't. See, can't, the thing is, uh-huh. I don't want to see him like I putting on Drake or I putting on a yeah. female. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone playing this game. Uh-huh. Either yeah. you play the game the right way. Yep. Or you play the game the wrong way. Exactly. So, get the bike. You got to know when you meet that opportunity. That's all pressure is really saying. So, ladies, you got what pressure say. Get the bag in 2021, all right? <laughs> Focus on your feelings, Lito. But that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media right there. Of course, you know, just keeping you up to date with everything. Got to thank DJ Pressure for coming in with us. We are getting ready for E to the B, but keep it dialed right here with me. Jumping back into the mix. Drake, when to say when. I said I respect it.